All right, here we go. So x squared minus 25, if we need this to equal 0, and some of you guys don't really need to factor this one out, but we should be able to. This is a, a difference of two perfect squares. So I can split this up into x minus 5 and x plus 5. And then we've got the 3x plus 1. All this equals 0. So again, we're going to have three answers. I'll show you guys how to do this without the factoring, but most people kind of hate that way because we haven't done it in so long. So I've got uh, x minus 5. I need that to equal 0. So that tells me x is 5. On the other hand, I've got x plus 5 equals 0, which is the second one. So x is negative 5. And finally, we've got 3x plus 1 equals 0. So x, in this case, is a negative 1 third. And I did skip some steps there. If we were read our math out... But if all I see on a test is x equals 5, negative 5, and negative 1 third, I want to say that the boss does not want me to give you any credit for that. Because on the test, it should clarify that, hey, you got to show some work for any credit.